This song already was turned, but here's a bell Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q. We're back again with another video, another episode of Q Timber. If you guys are already subscribed. Welcome back to another episode. And if you're new here and you don't know what Q Timber is and you don't know what I do, basically I'm a producer and engineer and I make a lot of beat making videos and a lot of vocal making videos. And Q Timber is basically just a 30 day challenge I started for myself where I'm uploading every single day in September. So I think we got about nine days left. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss a single episode, go down, hit that subscribe button. Right next to it will be a bell. And if you hit that, you're going to be notified every single time I upload. But anyways, in today's video, we're going to be doing something pretty cool i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make beats for ken carson and playbook hardy i was messing around trying to learn and teach myself some music theory and i actually found out a pretty cool thing that i want to show you guys so we're just going to jump in fl studio and i'm going to show you guys how we can get started but before we get started i do want to announce that i redid my whole website so it looks a lot cooler a lot cleaner it might not be something you guys notice but definitely take a peek at it and if you use the code new you'll get 20 percent off anything on my entire store and the whole reason i redid my website is because i wanted to get it ready for the release of my new kit that's dropping on october 1st called cyber basically the main part of this kit is going to be the serum bank but it's also going to have a drum kit a midi kit and a loop kit as well as a one-shot kit which is basically just going to be if you don't have serum you'll be able to use the one-shot kits because it's just the one-shot kit is just going to be all the serum sounds but yeah so this is what the website looks like and if you scroll down you can see that you can pre-order cyber now you can either just click this button or go down a little bit more and you have some details right here. But basically the pre-order is available right now and it's almost 50% off. The release price is going to be 60 bucks and right now it's 30. So if you pre-order this now, you get two things. You get the kit discounted at an almost 50% discount and you're also going to be able to join the Discord server. I'm going to have this secret server where you guys could join, talk to me. I'm going to be doing like classes and stuff like that. And if you pre-order, you could just join this Discord server and you'll be able to hook up with me and stuff like that. Anyways, I don't want to talk about it too much. You already know where to go, quintababa.com, and just scroll down and you'll be able to pre-order it. But yeah, that's what we're going to be using today, so let's hop in FL Studio. So I got the BPM set to 140, you can see here, and I'm using my Cyberbank, and I'm using this preset called Scarce. And if we play something, it just sounds like this. But basically, what we're going to do here is hop into the piano roll, and I'm going to try and explain this as quickly as I can. So I have the scale highlighting set to A minor, which if you go into this view section and go down to scale highlighting, you can see you can set the root note and the scale. And like I said, I have it set to A minor. So basically what I found is when you go to make a chord, you usually make a simple triad like this, where you do the, at least the one, the three, and the six. And you get something that sounds like this, which is great. But we're looking for something like these, these Ken Carson and like Playboy Cardi beats. We're looking for something that's, that's a bit more grungy. So something I found out you could do is if you flatten this middle note, the third of the chord, and bring it down to B. And what this does is just make the chord sound like this now. It sounds a bit more grungy and it just makes it darker. Basically what you could do is bring this up an octave and it sounds like that. And already I like that instantly just brings that like yeet vibe to me. I'm pretty sure this is a chord that's used in one of his songs. But basically what I also did is I brought this root note up an octave as well. And I did a little melody like this. And then we're just going to basically do that for another chord until we have a full progression. Let's see what we could do. All right, so I like this right here. And something that's weird about this is, so you would think the root notes would just be right here and you could just bring them down and have those act as the bass notes. But if we do that, you're gonna hear right away that it doesn't sound right. So what I noticed is the way this works out is for these two chords, the bass note is actually the F for this one and the E for this one. So we're just gonna bring those down an octave. All right, cool, so I'm gonna route this to a mixer track and first thing we're gonna do is just EQ this a bit. So I'm just gonna pull up a fruity parametric EQ. We're gonna go to the third preset and just pull this up. 
Then I'm gonna dirty the sound up a bit with an RC retro color. Just add some noise and a little bit of wobble. All right, cool, so I like that. So we're gonna open up Serum again. I'm gonna go back into Cyber and let's see if we can find a cool bass. I usually like this one called Combat. It works pretty well for these beats. But I'm gonna bring it to Mixture Track 7 and we're gonna EQ it a bit. And then let's open up another instance of Serum. And we're gonna look for a lead. So back to Cyber. We're just gonna go to the leads. I'm gonna start with like some this kind of sign right here. I'm gonna go to the effects and just pull the reverb off. Alright, so I like this right here, so we're just gonna record that in. Alright, and then I'm just gonna quantize that and fix it up. This lead is set up so I made it where there's a portamento, which is basically that like sliding effect. So we're just gonna add like some notes on top, and you could hear that it slides up a bit. And then we're just gonna take these and duplicate them over. And then I'm gonna EQ that out a bit because if you could tell, there is a sound that's kind of messing with the original sound. So first thing I'm going to do is actually just grab a compressor and we're just going to compress the sound a bit because it's kind of like a little out of control. I'm going to be using Arcomp by Waves, but you could literally use a fruity compressor. I just like the interface on this a little bit better. It's more easy to understand. And then I'm going to grab an EQ here. Yep, that's perfect. Let's open another instance of Serum and just see what else we could add to it. So, of course, we're going to Cyber. Uh, let's go with some plucks. You like this sound a lot. I like this a lot, but the sound's just like a little messed up, so uh, we're gonna EQ it out. Maybe a little bit of reverb. Go with Valhalla. I'm gonna make it sit in the background. And then what I'm going to do here is just route all the melodic parts of the melody to a mixture track. We're going to put a fruity parametric EQ, go to the third preset, pull out all the low end. Because we're going to do the drums now, and of course we don't want that 808 clashing. So, right, so I'm going to head over to the Cyber Drum Kit, which isn't done yet, but uh, I have a few 808s that I like. So we're going to grab this one called Twizzy. Actually, Rockstar. And I'm going to normalize it and turn it up, and then also clip and boost it a bit. Alright, and then we're just going to follow the chord progression. Like this. Probably going pretty simple with the 808. I have this hi-hat and snare I'm working on. So we're just going to fill each two.
just gonna stack that snare with a clap from my full circle drum kit. I'm also gonna grab a kick. And I'm just adding some slides in here. Now I'm gonna go back to the cyber drum kit and grab a second 808 twizzy. And we're just gonna copy this. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, let's just arrange this real quick. So I'm just going to bring everything out and duplicate it over a bunch. And, of course, we're going to make a little intro. So I'm going to make sure all the sounds are playing. And I'm going to take out the lead and that bell, probably. So I'm going to make this main chord progression unique and then bring it down an octave. And then same with the lead. We're going to make it unique and also bring it down an octave. I got to make sure the envelope settings are set on the 808. You know, this was just giving me way too much of a let's get busy vibe. So uh, we had to add that bell. We're going to set the envelope settings too. We do like that cool effect that they actually did on here's a bell. Or I mean, <laughs> let's get busy. But you like pull this over a little bit and it'll sound cool. I already think you guys know what we got to do here. We got to make that bell unique as well. Bring it down an octave. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright, so if you guys know me, then you already know that it's time for the freestyle. But if you head over to my website, which is now really cool looking, and go to the vocal templates, I'm going to be using the Yeet Get Busy template, which is an FL Studio stock. So if you want to grab this, this is basically what I'm using right now. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Pull up now, finna get busy. Yeah, pull up now, finna get busy. Yeah, pull up now, finna get busy. Yeah, pull up now, finna get busy Yeah, pull up now, finna get busy yeah, eh, eh. I got rhinestones inside of this tizzy yeah, eh, eh. I might pass that bitch over the twizzy yeah, eh, eh. I got bags, yeah, bags on cash on stizzy yeah. I got this Percocet, uh, 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 stuck in the club Fuckin' this bitch, yeah, grindin' my nuts, I might get my nut I'ma go back, I'ma go pass that bitch to mom I'ma go back, I'ma go pass that bitch to mom Yeah, pull up now, finna get busy Yeah, pull up now, finna get busy Yeah, pull up now, finna get busy yeah, uh, uh. That's a rhinestone, inside of this twizzy, yeah And I got a blank face, yeah, keep me a stick Just in case anyone getting too crazy Anyone getting too crazy You made me go and spray, huh I got this mason out, uh, yeah I'ma go fuck on your bitch for the shit that I did And I got me some sticks, yeah Yeah, keep me a stick inside of the club I got this bitch on my dick And she rubbing my shit and she rubbing my nuts And every time I go to bed I pop me a perk or two And I need more, I need more Cause I'm on drugs, ooh. I just put up with this bitch And I got sticky, easy, wheezy I got everything you need And I got love up for my twizzy Pull up, pull up now Finna get busy, yeah, yeah this song already was turned, but here's a bell huh. Everyone that I know is rich as hell huh. I didn't pull me an eight, I feel like I am And I ain't going to jail, my boy got stale Pop me a perk and I'm losing out my bell And I just went out and said, hi I might need me a perk, pie Yeah, I just might need a perk, I need a pie Yeah, I just might need a posse at the bank yeah, pull up now, finna get busy, yeah Pull 
Pull up now, finna get lazy, yeah Pull up now, finna get lazy, yeah, yeah all right, guys, so that's the end of the video. I think this turned out really dope. That was really fun to freestyle on. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. I know this probably turned out a little too much like Get Busy, but shit, I don't know. I mean, I've been listening to that track for a while now, so uh, it was probably just stuck in my head, but I mean, there's obviously some differences, but who cares, you know? Inspiration's everywhere. But yeah, like I said, that's all I got for you guys right now, so I'll see you in the next episode of Q-Timber. Deuces. Huh. Everyone that I know is rich as hell. Huh. I didn't pull me an A, I feel like yeah. Yeah, I'm losing